Okay guys, hello, welcome. Today I'm at Arkell Springs in kind of the south east of Guelph. And uh, I've been here a few times. It's had a lot of work in the last five years, like a ton. It's also, I believe, part of Gorba, the Guelph Off-Road Biking Association, which uh, takes care of Guelph Lake. And it is techy in here. Well, and it's just fun. It's, it's, you need good legs to be in here because it is just, this beginning part is more feature based, but then the last half is just up, down, up, down. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I don't know what these trails are labeled difficulty, but I would generally say these are if used to riding the Hydro Cut or, or, or Guelph Lake, or even Twin Ponds in Cambridge, these are blacks. These are black trails for sure. I, I don't know what the trail folks rating is, but they're just, like they got all these crazy features that you can do. That actually looks rollable, wow. But this is my first time in here this year, this season actually, so. Holy shit, I picked a real bad line. So this place is, especially the beginning here, is very, um, very technical. And like, as you just saw there, I just picked a bad line. Not necessarily difficult, but you gotta be in the right line. So, enjoy guys, this is an awesome trail. I definitely, I recommend checking this place out. And I rode this, last time I rode this was on a 26er and I was able to roll most things. Again, I skipped a big rock roll there. Um, but yeah, once we're into the, the kind of the heartland of the trails, they're not as techy and just more climb, climb, climb. So, it's got a little bit of everything. Oh, pedal struck. So I don't know when this video is gonna be released, but this is early September of 2022. Yeah, I guess that's kind of irrelevant if you're watching this anytime later than now, but I've been getting a lot better at filming and just uh, just in terms of what's engaging, I th at least I think. Because a bunch of my first videos, the Hydra Cut series, I didn't talk at all, except for like an overlay at the beginning, and that's just less engaging, especially since I'm not riding super gnarly trails or super fast. So the kind of monologue style seems to be more engaging. And Hopefully I'll be better at editing by the time you see this video too. <laughs> this, uh, these trails, I don't know about this specific one or any of the specific ones I'll be riding today, but They've been around a long time. My dad used to ride these 25 years ago, kind of thing. But they've been improved and upgraded quite a bit, and especially recently, so. If you remember riding near here, this is across from Starkey Hill on Arkell Road. Oh, that was, uh, okay, that, you're supposed to jump that, that's for sure. If you wanna practice balance and line choice, these are some good trails. Like in here, like what is going on? Oh. 
29ers help. Let me tell you. Oy, 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 oy. Super technical. Lots of just... Oh my goodness. That is very rideable, but I'm stuck on the top. All right, well, sorry guys. I do wonder if I should kind of do a first loop through here, kind of learn some of the lines and then send it when it's, when I kind of know them, but I don't have enough GoPro battery or life in my legs. Oh yeah, boy, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, super, super techy. And you kind of just have to... Fuck. Oh, sorry guys. Oh. All right, back on the road. And if you don't think this is your style, once you're through this trail, granted it is pretty gnar. Oh. Um, it does get less tech and just straight grindy, so. And there are some shortcuts in. You don't have to take this trail in. Uh, to get into the main hub because this is kind of like the in trail. Oh, Berman there, that's nice. I think that's new from last time I was in here. My goodness. I don't think I've ever made that before in my life. That was crazy. Just not hard hill, just super techy, which makes it difficult. Lots of just needle threading. See, that's one of the shortcuts to come in here, so you can skip all that if you want. Uh, holy shit. That was almost death. This is also, last time I was in here, it's on a significantly shorter uh, wheelbase bike. So it's just a little different. You have to, this bike's more capable in a lot of ways, but also more but also in some ways a little bit trickier. Definitely, I have to say though, this is the 
this entire season, this is the most I've unclipped on a ride <laughs> already. I'm only like 10 minutes in. Uh, monster climb. Might not look like it on the GoPro, but that was significant. <sighs> Holy shit. Also, this is a place on my 26er where I think I like broke like six or seven spokes because it's just super tight in here. You end up getting caught up on things. Just tight on the ground, not even tight with the trees. Some of that, if your pedal strikes, you're just done. I'm lucky my pedal didn't strike, but that will just stall you right out and you're cooked. Oh, buddy. So that boardwalk I think is new. I need to index my gears. I'm never in such easy gears. And they're clicking a bit. Oh, I... That feature looks very rollable. It actually looks quite fun. That's the next time. I'll have to maybe next summer come back and just do feature videos. Ah, oh, shit. You really gotta, after a ride in here, you gotta check your spokes, check your derailleur, check your chain ring because it's probably all banged up it's so tight in here oh i think this trail is almost done we're going down now oh my goodness like not even a fun descent like it's just absolutely I think there's a monster sender here. Yeah, you can send this pretty good. Oh, or that. Yeah, I, that's not for me. Down at the bottom. So this whole trail system is kind of divided by a big ravine. And believe it or not, not that many trails actually go down the ravine. There's, there's only a few, we just did one, but we're kind of on the main low trail here and then the next section on trails where the main kind of hub is, is up over the next ridge on top. But uh, I'll meet you guys up there. Check it out in the next vid.